Well, the big question for parents and students all across the mountains, mm -hmm. will there be school tomorrow? That's right. Most districts have already made that call. And Frank, this is not an easy decision for the systems to make. It isn't. It can be tricky business. What to do when threatening weather arrives? And as the snow starts piling up, so do miss school days. A Carolina blue sky, but no buses on the move anywhere today. The gates to all the schools in the area are chained shut. I'll just say tomorrow's pretty iffy right now. Henderson County Schools Assistant Superintendent Bill Parker is just one of many officials across the mountains checking conditions, following the forecast, waiting for the right time. On this sunny day after the storm, school administrators are basically looking at two things. They can get these parking lots scraped and ready for cars. That's not a big deal. But here's where it gets tricky. On the roads and driveways leading up to the schools, even with sand and salt, it's still very slick. We're hoping for some more sun, but uh, I would say iffy at best. So here's how it shapes up for the three biggest school districts. Through today, Buncombe County has already missed five days. There was only one in 2013. Haywood has also missed five compared to eight. And Henderson County stands at three days. Two missed last year. We've been averaging three or four days a year for the last several years anyway, and it uh, looks like this is going to be one of those years. we still got a lot of winter to go. Real, real scary. And winter proved its point yesterday when a bus slid off an icy road and into a ditch. One child was hurt, and that heightens concern about making the snow day decision. I'd just rather have the kids be safe than um, chance it, especially with the bus that turned over yesterday. You know, it's just not, it's not worth it. And it should be no surprise that that list of school days so far it continues to be a changing one. We told you Buncombe County, no school tomorrow. You can add Henderson and Haywood County to that list as well. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Frank Rocker, News 13.